The annual STARS tryouts are on Thursday, March 9th at 5 p.m. in the FHS gym. All applications are due this Monday, February 27th. Please turn them in to the front office. The tryout clinic will take place March 6th through 8th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. in the gym that we are in right now. And the actual tryout will take place on March 9th at uh, 5 p.m. Being a part of the STARS drill team is a fun and rewarding experience. It's obviously very fun to get to dance with your best friends and it's a great way to meet new people and to always have a friend group inside of school. There are so many benefits of being on the STARS dance team, um, some of which include that you get to dance on a team with super supportive girls, you get to learn what it looks like to be on a team, and you get to have fun while doing it. I enjoy dancing with my friends and just being a part of a team in general because it's really fun to expand our horizons on what we're doing in class and just being with our friends in general. Football games, pep rallies, competitions, and other special events keep the stars on their toes. It's all a good like team moral because like we all want to do our best and we're all kind of in the zone. But then as soon as we get out onto the gym or on the field, you know we're ready to go and it's a lot of fun because the adrenaline bursts through us and then we just have a good time. I can take what I know from my studio outside of here and bring it in and have fun with people I know from school. My advice for people that are planning on auditioning is to put yourself out there um, and tr try something new if dance is not your thing um, and have confidence. I think a lot of people on this team weren't originally planning on being on the Stars Dance team when they first entered high school, but it's something that a lot of us really appreciate. So, The tryout clinics will be March 6th through 8th at 4.30 p.m. in the FHS gym. And final auditions will be Thursday, March 9th at 5 p.m., also in the gym. For more details, go to FriscoHighStars.com. We hope to see you there. For RACC TV, I'm Kate Gomez. Do you have any special rice dishes in your family? Yeah. Like what? Pilaf. What is it made of? Rice and vegetables. Thank you. Do you have any special rice dishes in your family? Um, we usually do arroz con pollo, which is like yellow rice with chicken, pretty much. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Do you have any special rice dishes in your family? My mom usually just cooks white rice with yogurt. Do you have any traditional rice dishes in your family? Um, well, my diet mainly consists of rice and chicken because I work out and stuff. But sometimes I add like specific spices and stuff. Even though rice comes in many flavors and colors, it's also a food that is common to almost all cultures. Therefore, the theme for our annual Multicultural Night is Everybody Cooks Rice. This year's event will be held here in the FHS cafeteria on Friday evening, March 3rd from 5.30 to 7.30. It is an idea that promotes community unity through food. And who doesn't like food? The purpose of the multicultural uh, event that's going to be on March 3rd, Friday from 5.30 to 7.30, we are going to be celebrating the diversity that we have here at Frisco High School, giving the stage to the um, students that are from all around um, the country. We wanted to focus on what brings us together in this amazing country, and that's the, the, the special thing about it, that we are in a country, the United States, that we can talk as much as we want about our own countries and share as much as we, uh, we want. And so Frisco High School, we're all about family, about making people feel welcome. And that's really the purpose, bringing everyone together and what brings us together. And not what else that rice, something that everybody eats, it's used around the country. And so we're going to talk about how we use rice here and with my friends. Tell me, where are you from? I'm from Korea. Can you recognize this dal? This is a Korean traditional dal. And then we eat rice almost every day. And also we eat uh, rice cake called duck, and uh, rice cracker, and rice drink. See, well. that's the amazing thing that in our multicultural, we'll get to learn from every, every country that we can get represented. Yes. And not only are we gonna learn about mm -hmm. rice, but little things like this. Mm -hmm. Like I brought my, my shawl, and this is, I'm from Mexico. Um, and so let, tell me, how, what about you guys? Where are you from, and what, how do you use rice? Well, I'm from Dallas, but my parents are from Mexico, and the way we use rice would be, it's like a main course meal. So rice, and then everything else comes after that. We have like uh, arroz con leche that we also use. That's Now that's one of my favorite desserts. <laughs> okay, so 
I'm from the United States, so the rice that we use is very versatile in with the ways in which we use them. We use them as side courses. We usually eat them with like broccoli or chicken, stuff like that. Please join us. We'll have food trucks outside. We're going to have face painting at high school. Come on, guys. We're going to have face painting. Then we're also going to have our tables that are cultural tables where you get to see stuff from the world. We also have the most thing is uh, other cool thing is the showcasing of talents. Um, we're trying to recruit some students. So if you have a talent and you want to show it to uh, all of our Frisco High School population, please come out. Show us a dance, sing, whatever how uh, whatever talent you have. Bring it. Right now, we just got confirmed. We're having um, a group from India that's going to be performing uh, from Plano, and then we also have another group from China. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the other cool thing is that we're going to be using this event to provide resources for our families. So come, bring your family. They will be able to learn how to use the canvas, and we'll have um, just uh, Frisco Family Services here. We're also going to be college ready. We'll have colleges representing us here to help you and give you information. So this is really Really gonna be an amazing night but it can only be an amazing night if you behind watching this video joins us um, and so after uh, this session this uh, segment or this episode you will be able to scan a QR code where you can sign up we want to know even if you're coming sign up because we want to make sure that we are ready for you and we treat you well that night so please join us bienvenidos ojalá que vengan thank you so much One of the newest and most popular electives at Frisco High School is the eSports class. eSports not only covers computer maintenance, but students get to participate in competitive aspects of gaming. I mostly enjoy that it's a free period where I can just relax and learn about stuff that I never learned before. The fun, the teamwork, the, the games, pretty much everything. I enjoy being able to uh, have both like teamwork and leadership skills incorporated into do having something that I really enjoy playing. Esports can also introduce students to career opportunities. Well, there's a big uh, esports industry that a lot of people don't really know about. So there's like tournament creation, there is uh, marketing, there's design, there's coding, graphic animation and design. There's all kinds of different avenues that I think kids can um, get into that they really don't know about. And it's not all about just playing professionally for video games. And there's other opportunities for you to actually get a full-time career within the aspect of esports that a lot of people um, just aren't really aware of. And so I think it's cool that we're able to bring awareness to those positions. We not only learn about games, we also learn about uh, like technology and other technological advances. And since the future is going to have more technology, it's better to have that in our minds. It's like advertisement. Uh Online uh, marketing, e-commerce, pretty much like putting yourself out there. The teamwork and leadership skills, I really think that would benefit in both just uh, being on a team for a job and maybe eventually being a manager or some sort of leader. The course is scheduled for upgrades this spring. So there's a lot of new things coming to eSports in the future. Um, we got PS5s recently, which are set up over here. Um, we're going to have TVs set up in the middle, so all these computers that you see um, in the background are eventually going to be out of here, and we'll have a TV set up, and uh, you'll basically be able to um, play games on either side of the TVs. And so we'll kind of go from there, and there will be new games that will be introduced, and that will be approved, and um, it'll be a lot of fun, as well as like hands-on design um, with just, like we said, video game creation, animation and design, stuff like that that's a little more esports specific. So. If you are interested in taking eSports, please speak with your counselor or coat store by Friday, April 14th. It is a popular class and fills up quickly. For RACC TV, I'm Ravent. Do you remember how much sleep you got last night? According to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, it is recommended that kids aged 13 through 18 should get 8 to 10 hours of sleep. How many hours of sleep do you usually get every night? How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Like four. I got uh, nine hours. I think like uh, four hours. Um, probably like five hours. I probably got around six and a half to seven hours of sleep last night. Six. I don't know. I went to sleep at nine. I woke up at seven. 
like four or five. How about you? Eight hours. Not gonna lie, probably like seven, seven hours. Seven, six. Do you think you get enough sleep? No. No. Not really. No. Not really. No, not at all. Do you think you need to get more hours of sleep? Yeah. Thank you. Do you ever feel like you need more sleep? Nah, nine hours is pretty good. Awesome, thank you. The majority of the students we spoke with don't get the recommended amount of sleep. It has been proven that not getting enough sleep could result in diabetes, obesity, injuries, and poor mental health. Maybe tonight you should get into bed a little earlier. For RACC-TV, I'm Willow Womady.